Hi, Taurus. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for December 2022. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in December and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. This recording is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising, and Taurus Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck in this reading. All that being said, Taurus, now on to your December 2022 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have, Taurus, is the Justice card. So this could be dealing with court documents, legal papers, lawyers, judges, the court systems. If it's uh, not legal, it could be something that was just unfair and unjust, could now be coming fair and just. I feel like you're going through documents and papers. Like you're looking for something that was hidden or lost or misplaced, and it is some type of document. You may want to be revisiting something from the past. You could, this could be why you're looking for the documents for some of you, and you may want to consult a lawyer. Or things that where you're like, you could be looking for loopholes and or where things were mishandled in some legal case or where things were promised. And then you're like, wait a minute, wasn't this supposed to happen? Wasn't I supposed to get that or this or that? And so you could be going back looking for these documents to prove that some things that went down in a courtroom or, you know, in some kind of legal case or situation aren't being completely honored and followed up on. You could receive some kind of uh, documents or uh, legal papers, and now you have to respond and react to them. You may have to go to court uh, or try or deal with some kind of legalities where now things need to be adjusted. Maybe you got a child support, but now it needs to be altered. Maybe you should be getting more because of inflation or more because of, you know, something changing in the circumstances. Um, it could be something on that line also. Some of you could be trying to go through, like, going through classes or courses or training to become a court stenographer, some of you. Or you could be learning, like, looking up on the laws of things that you're concerned about right now. Um, that could involve... Laws applying to your town, city, state, or province, or country even. You may be looking to get some kind of recognition through something connected to do with law. Or laws, or legal representation. You may really feel like you need to look at something that was owed to you. This could also be dealing with wills. Like maybe somebody promised you and they said, you know what? When I pass away, I'm going to leave you things in my will. And then the person passed away and then the things that you got promised never showed up. And you may feel like, wait a minute, I need to see a copy of that will because you know, it could be a relative that promised you stuff and then you never heard anything about it. And you may say, wait a minute, they told me they were going to give me their piano or some money or some stock. And you may want to look at that will. 
So the next card you have in your reading is the Knight of Rods, and the Knight of Rods is a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that is a fire sign, or if you're born on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. This could be somebody that you're really going back and forth with them over something. Could be the legal stuff. Uh, it could be about what is fair and just. It could be about it. Uh, these two cards could be connected. You may feel like they're insensitive or callous or not feeling in the right way that you think they should. They may feel like you're asking too much of them. They may feel like you're putting them on the spot. In some regards, now remember when the court cards come up, they can mean multiple people and multiple things. You may be trying to shelter the a fire sign person, and you may try to be like a bridge over troubled waters for a fire sign person. So, like I said, remember, multiple things are going to come up here because this fire... And remember, you may feel like, well, this makes sense to me, but they're not a fire sign. Well, do you know their rising sign or moon sign? Because they may be a fire sign, rising sign, or moon sign. And they could be somebody that's trying to pull some kind of stunt, and you may look at them like they really need to grow up. This could be somebody that's, uh, you know, maybe in their late 20s or early 30s, and yet you may feel like they're acting like they're 15 or 16 years old. Like, they could be doing some crazy thing, you know, like <laughs> some of the dumb videos I've seen of people do stuff, like jump off of a roof into a pool or jump off of a roof into bushes and think they're not going to get hurt. Like, you know, skateboarding off of something nutty and, you know, really hurting themselves or doing that. Like, I feel like they could, and they could be pulling this stunt for social media. They, that could be the reason they're doing it. But whatever it is that they're doing, I, for some of you, this fire sign is pulling some kind of stunt and you're looking at them like you're way too old to be doing it or you need to grow up. They may be have it, having issues of insecurity. They may also be having issues of struggling with masculinity, insecurity. These are things that come up around the Knight of Rods person. So, uh, and you may feel like they're doing everything to work against the system, whatever that system is. It could be at work, it could be political, it could be. Uh, legal legalities and laws, you may feel like they're going out of their way to do everything to, you know, buck the system, work against the system. So the card you have next is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is three sisters, three females, three friends, help from friends. Could also be a party, gathering or celebration that you're throwing or that you're attending. It could be a celebratory conclusion to something going on in your life. This could be you gathering together with some people to put something to rest. Possibly it could be at a funeral, but there could be other things that you're like putting to rest. So it could be a celebratory conclusion to something. It could be something that you waited really long for for something to happen and you're like finally glad it happened like maybe you had a, a a boss that was really mean and dictatorial and you couldn't wait till they retired and now they retired or you know I don't know what it is but it's it comes up like this was something that you and other people were waiting for to happen and I feel like it's, so there is some kind of celebration about it. And I do get, so, some of you, you're gathering together as a send-off. 
So again, this could be a party after a funeral. This could be a party for somebody retiring. This could be a party because something that you didn't like that was going on has now completed. So you're getting together in a gathering. It could be that as well. And there is a sense of duty here and also doing the right thing. So I don't really feel like you're doing something that falls out of those parameters. And you may also be gathering together because now you need to put your heads together and figure out what's the next step, what's the next move, what's the next course of action. Some of you, this could have happened already in the month of October or the beginnings of what I'm talking about started in October and now December is the culmination of those things. And also you could be trying to form some kind of plan of attack if there's something that you and some other people need to get grouped together and get organized and plan something. Maybe you're going after a school board that's allowing things that you don't agree with. Maybe you're putting your heads together because you want to go after some law that you don't agree with that's in your state, city, province, country, town. So I just want to say here, if you want to get my New Year 2023 Psychic Tarot reading for each sign of the Zodiac, those videos are available now on Vimeo, and that link is down below in the description box in the show more section under the video, or you can go to my website at theluckymermaid.com and go to the videos page, and it'll probably be the very top video series on that page. You just click on whatever zodiac sign you want, and that will take you to that video on Vimeo. There's 16 cards total in this New Year's reading. So the next card you have in your reading, Taurus, is the Emperor. And the Emperor is a strong male figure that has passed over to the other side, watching you, guiding you, protecting you, giving you ideas and inspirations that could feel like they're coming from you, but they could actually be coming from the Emperor. So he could be a strong paternal figure like father, grandfather, great-grandfather, uncle, brother, that could also be the same people in the living, you know, it could be a husband, ex-husband, boss, uncle, father, brother, but it could also be you, you could be the emperor. This has strong Aries energy, this card. You could have some, like, uh, it's kind of like a will situation again, or somebody's nest egg, like their savings could be brought to you. Or it could be part of a conversation uh, that you're, a, a conversation or issue that you're discussing or dealing with in the month of December. This could be an estate you're dealing with. There could be a lot of, again, I get the same thing I got through the justice card, papers that you're having to sort through, documents, papers, could be yours, could be the emperors that you're dealing with. This could also be a boss or a significant other to you that, or some uh, dictatorial person that wants you to fix something, solve something, get something in order. They could be living or deceased, either one. This, like I said, it could be a husband, a boss. It could be a father. It could be these people that have are crossed over to the other side, wanting you to do it from the other side. And it's like, there's things they want you to take care of. There's things they want you to get organized. There's things they want you to get right. This could even be a professor, a mentor, or a teacher to you that, you know, maybe you have to take some kind of test or write a dissertation or give some kind of presentation. And 
you know, or maybe if you're in acting, this is the director that they there's things that you need to prove yourself, your your intelligence, your competence and things you need to get right. So you have to see how that fits for you, because a lot of things came up here for some of you. I feel it's a teacher, a mentor, a professor, a, a director. For some of you, I feel it's a father or a boss and, you know, they want you to get something right and show your intelligence, show your competence, get something right. Again, like I said, it could be a boss you have right now, even. So the next card you have in your reading is the last of the five, and you have the seven of rods. And this is closing the door on negative energy or communications coming at you or keeping them at bay. It could also be you taking the moral high ground in a situation. It's like, I feel like people are pressuring you. And I do feel like you have the feeling of people coming at you and you're like, all right, all right, I'm going to get this right. Now, if you work in retail, this could be people coming at you because you have to wrap packages for people at Christmas or, or the holidays and get orders right for people, fill orders properly. So it could be that you could be dealing with a lot of customer service issues, like people coming at you that way. Um, this could also be if you're managing or dealing with any kind of estate or anything to do with money, you could have, like, if you're in banking, finance, dealing with wills, if you work in the legal profession, you could have a lot of people coming at you about things that would be connected to those fields. This could be bosses, managers, and supervisors coming at you like, did you do it yet? Did you get it done yet? You got this deadline. Have you finished it yet? Because my guides are also telling me that energy is present here with this card. So the energy of this coming at you, it may not be customers and clients. It may be bosses, managers, and supervisors for some of you. This can also be you fighting back and resisting change. These arrows, these rods coming at you could be things that are now going to be in motion or go in play that are going to create change and you don't want to deal with it. Like you, you don't, I mean, you know, there's exceptions to every rule, right? And it does have to do with your rising sign and moon sign, not just your sun sign. But Taurus sun sign people don't usually like change. It, but again, you can't just go by that. You have to go by people. Taurus's rising sign and moon sign. You have to go by the complete picture, not by just the sun sign. It could be that people are trying to institute change on you right now and you're not, you can't deal with it because of other things that are going on. And you feel like, really, I'm busy and I got to take care of this and I got to take care of that. And now you're going to throw all these policy changes or new methods or new techniques or new protocols or new laws or new this or that. And I'm already overwhelmed with all this stuff I have to do. And now you're going to throw all this at me. It could be energy like that as well. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Tauruses to work with, use and wear in the month of December 2022, you got Dalmatian Jasper. And this connects with your inner child and helps bring a positive outlook. It also balances the energies of yin and yang. And Dalmatian Jasper also promotes devotion to others. It reconnects you with a playful nature and it brings strong protection and shielding. Dalmatian Jasper is helpful for overcoming depression and it combats exhaustion and boredom. It also helps dealing with nightmares and negative thinking and it encourages humor and seeing 
it encourages humor and seeing the humor in situations. You're going to feel more invigorated if you're wearing this stone or working with this stone and almost like this stone is bringing in a breath of fresh air for you. It's going to make you feel more positive. It's going to help you overcome negativity of others coming at you and your own negative thinking. It's going to really help you connect strongly with yourself and the spiritual side of nature. It's also going to help you to calm down. If you feel like tense, uptight, it's going to help relieve tension and it's going to help you to calm down. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense.